ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reese Cake and welcome back to Lightfall. Last time we got through a trial-ish uh, section that was really hard. Did not approve of it. And now we we got some backstory or some story that basically, as you would suspect, Loxana was tricked into helping Eternium with their evil plan of resurrecting someone. And now we've got through this um, rift here, but last time we got a memory shot that I never got to um, show off. I think it's over here, I bet. No? Where would it be? It has to be this one then. Oh, alright. How do I do that again? There we go. Okay. Let me see if I can actually do this then. Um, how was it again? I just w running and walking. Oh, that's right. Okay. Let me see. Let's see if I can find it. I'm a little unsure. I think it's this one, yeah. May 21st, 1591. It was officially one year ago that I was named Captain of Brave New World. This past year had gone by in a blink. So much had happened since. It was quite the adventure of a lifetime. In all honesty, the mission had not been a success. As the captain, this failure was on me. I couldn't keep the group united and ultimately was betrayed by my own crew. Strangely enough, it didn't bother me that much anymore. I had a lot of time to think about what I would do once we were back to safety or what I could have done better throughout our journey. In the end, the past was the past. Nothing could be changed. Ashen and the Six Nations could come back and try to take Nambra by force, but I really doubted it. The Night Owls would defend their homeland no matter what. Instead, I feared Eternium would do what it had always done in the past, pillage the other lands for his own benefit, and I want no part in another war, neither did Aizan. Aizan. This is why we had decided to stay here in Umbra. Call me a coward if you wish, but the truth is I had almost lost faith in the conglomerate. Violence and greed would always tear our nations apart, conflicts would never stop. I had wandered the worlds for years, but I had never realized what exactly I was searching for. I wasn't searching for new places, new things to discover, or anything of the sort. I was simply running away from human nature. Now I saw it clearly. Isan shared the same mindset, and that's why we both decided to remain here. We went back to the Order, and ultimately the Animus and he, uh, two Animus, and he welcomed us at the Lagoon. We built our modest home on a hill overlooking the lake, and we'd lived peacefully ever since. My only regret in this adventure was that I let down my homeland, the Kamloops. However, I knew the Celestial uh, God would watch over them better than I ever could. As for Nombra, this place was still as mysterious as it was on the first day. I had not found what I was originally looking for, the origin of the darkness. Instead, I found Isan. My light. Aww, that's so cute. My days as a captain and adventurer are now over. I have finally found a place where I am at peace. I have been the most renowned explorer in the past, but now it's time for a new goal. I plan to become the most renowned fisherman. After all, I have all the time in the world and the perfect spot for my, uh, to perfect my skills. Lovely. Alrighty, let me see here. So that's this one. Alrighty. Let me just quickly see. There is... Oh, that's right. So it's Y, basically. Okay. I cannot quite remember the, the buttons. We'll see how it goes, though. Alrighty, let's go. Let's uh, see if we can fight him. What is that? Okay. I have a feeling I should not touch those lights. What does that do? I don't know what that does. Maybe I shouldn't kill them. Ooh! At last. Ooh! The insignificant Hello? child and his magical toy box oh you piece of shit no 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 what is going on what is going on i could not do a thing there also who's this asshole a little boy and his magical stuff fuck you fuck you dude you ass hello everyone future of cake here uh, I'm just going to interrupt the Lightfall's Reese Cake just for a moment. 
because uh, Reese cake took quite a while, let me just tell you that. It took me 3 hours and 10 minutes and 93 deaths. And yes, I looked through the footage and counted. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> so instead of you suffering through 3 hours with me failing horribly, I'll just give you a quick sum up of what I got through or noticed. So first off, we have that this game, or this boss fight, is very freaking hard. It's very, very challenging. There are a lot of different um, paths, patterns that this boss have that I simply do not manage to figure out <laughs> for quite a while. Number two, this boss fight is actually so freaking hard that I had to check, am I the only one being a f fucking dumbass here? And apparently I'm not. So don't give me sass on that. Third point. I really appreciated through this fight, even though it's a pain in the booty to get through and it was very hard, I really appreciated the way that the mechanics throughout the game had been used uh, and utilized in this boss battle. There was not any game mechanics that would come as a surprise for me in this battle. I just had as a player to kinda combine the different abilities that I had learned throughout my little adventure. Number four, throughout a boss battle that took like three hours, I was like, this game isn't hard, it's all on my part, it's not unfair. Looking back, I'm taking that back, that fight was unfair. The patterns with the whole flame from above and the pillars and little random things made it very, very hard beyond just being challenging. Um, a minor thing I'm, I'm having a point on is that when you use your cube and you have the flames from up above coming down and hitting it, if you somehow manage to land after the flame is gone, if you land on your, your cube, you're dead dude, you're dead. Did not appreciate that. That caused like at least 7 deaths in itself. That's not brilliant gameplay. Number 5 point, the voice actor. Now, as far as I remember, because I am Future Face Cake and it's been quite a while since I played uh, Lightfall last time. Um, the voice actor is the same for Strix as for the Warlord. And might I just say, and I keep saying this a lot in my, in my playthrough of the game, that that voice actor is so freaking good as the Warlord. He is so smart, you feel like he is this overpowered badass who is looking upon you like <laughs> oh you little piece of dirt fuck off so props to the voice actor i do believe the name was tim simmons or something like that and i do apologize if i'm pronouncing that wrongly so yeah that guy fucking brilliant really good job dude and if i do believe it was for both strix and the warlord and if that is the case how do you manage to get from so old sounding and high pitched nonetheless to this deep voice son of a gun i do not know but props to you last point i do believe that's number six at this point but last point is that i do like even though the battle was so fucking tough i keep mentioning that don't i but even though it's so tough i do appreciate the um progression of it like i do appreciate that it keeps adding little things to make each section or each stage of the boss battle even more hard. And I do appreciate, sorry about that, as the outer world, fuck that. Uh, <laughs> I do appreciate that, you know, that, that the voice actor, like, oh, this warlord, he has dialogue, so you kind of have an idea of where you are in the battles. I do appreciate that, that is a very nice indicator. And it's very challenging, so overall, I did like the premise of the battle. It was very, it was a very hard one. It was executed very tough, let me say it like that. But we'll see later on, hopefully. I, uh, the developers have actually addressed this, and they have made some updates, and actually removed this boss battle, so I'm really happy I got to play before any major updates. Uh, there will be a new boss battle uh, that should be less, unforgiving than, than 
the, the warlord here, uh, he's now removed from the game as far as I'm aware, or as far as I could read from the article, I'll see if I can provide a link down below, a little updates too, but I, I want to focus on the boss right now. So again, really good job with him, he's a tough cookie, not nice to go through, but some nice elements nonetheless. Oh yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, Lightfall Reese King might be done with the battle about now, or at least get to the point where she actually fucking kicks his ass. Let's hope so. It's really tough. I hate that one with the whole wall thing. I panicked. That's absolutely my own fault. Still sucks though. At last we meet. The insignificant child and his magic toy box. That old bird you've befriended, he will be the next to meet his fate. Oh boy. Jump around all you want. It won't save your miserable people. No, no, no. Ooh. No mind, no mind. Ooh, boy. <clears throat> Turning Loxana to my way of thinking took more time than I had anticipated. She is of no use to me anymore. It's like right on the edge. I could feel the heat from from those lasers on my feet. Yeah. Two. Two. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Go up, 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 my boy. Come on, Nux. Fucking flames. Fucking flames, I swear to God. They destroy everything. They ruin everything. <clears throat> oh, boy. You gonna eat me? Yeah, you're gonna eat me. I have created Three. artificial weapons stronger than your divine artifacts. That is just an idiot. That will not be enough if I get to kill us. End. Alrighty. That was just enough. I had the time to. Could potentially have done it, but no, no. Tower section. Woohoo! Go, 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 my little boy, go! Go, 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 come on, Max! Come on, Max! Oop -a -doop -a -doop -doop -doop. For years, I have lived as a member of your pitiful okay, okay, okay. nation. Three, remember the time three. To step out of the shadows is now. I have become a god! Well, you are at least a little pissed, but then we're two. <laughs> oh. Nope. Not in a lifetime. There we go. Three. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you piece of shit. Warlord. Fuck you, dude. Oh boy. Eat me? No? Fuck you. Three. Remember three. Remember three. Two. Three. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We're getting there. He has to eat me now. He he has to. If he doesn't, I don't know. He, he's gonna eat me. He has to eat me. 
Yeah, he does so. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. How can you call yourself a god? Four. Do you even know the price your people must pay to summon your kind? How many deaths are on your hands? Absolutely no one. Two. Two more. Three. Get down, boy. Four. Thank you. Oh, boy. Just out of reach. Thank God. Cool boy. Cool boy. Okay, it's not the pillar, so we just stay there. Cool boy. Oh boy. Phase four is a fucking bitch in the booty. Go, go. Okay, nullifying. Four times. Remember it. Four times. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh boy. Come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can totally fucking do it, I swear to god. Oh, this is not good at all. Stay up there. Oh, Toho section, fair enough, fair enough. Go, 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 come on, Nox, come on, Nox. Beware, beware, go, run, 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 my little dude, run. Fuck, Nox, good job, dude. Are you gonna eat me? Are you gonna eat me? No! Yes. Yes. How is this possible? Fuck you! My ah. power yes. is fading. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. That's what you get, you asshole! Oh, that's so amazing! He should quit smoking. Worried about Nox <gasps> and the Kamloops, the divinities and I rushed to Nubra's core. Deep into the abyss. Good job, guys! <laughs> Luxana and Knox were both alive and well, but the same couldn't be said for the Kamloops. Aww. While we were carrying their lifeless forms back to the surface, Luxana suddenly stepped forward. Oh, she's gonna sacrifice herself Without probably. a word, she shattered her inner light, abandoning Aww. what made her a goddess. A thousand stars danced down from the sky, finding a new home in the hearts of the deceased. It's like As the, the female owl. The rose from the shadow of death. She fell to her knees, her light entirely consumed. Aww. Poor I will never forget. A day to be remembered forever. A day that would become known. As Lightfall. Roll the credits! Oh, that's so good, Luxana. What's up with the females sacrificing themselves for the better good? Lightfall! Oh boy! Wow! To thank me for my role in these events, the Kamloops invited me to live among them in Sylveon. Although I politely declined their generous offer, I promised I would visit the boy from time Aww. to time. Hey. This quest made me realize that Numbra may still be in need of silent protectors. Who knows what other tragedy could befall our homeland? We couldn't always rely on a playful child. <laughs> As such, I decided to rebuild the order. Aww. And this time around, Anyone willing to put their life on the line to protect Numbra would be welcomed with open arms. Oh, that's so if great! If new enemies arise, 
we will show them that we have more than a few tricks up our sleeves. Like the trickster. After all, I learned from the best. <laughs> Yay! Oh, that is great! Oh, that is lovely! Oh, oh, that was actually, you know, despite everything that happened, that's actually a good, that's a good way. And in any case, like, 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 it's kind of like with um, Revoria, the female owl there, where she was like sacrificing herself for the bigger picture, basically. Where now Luxana has sacrificed herself because she wanted to bring light to Umbra, and she couldn't. So now she's basically brought light via herself to save the people of Umbra. Lovely. Oh, this warms my little heart. Oh boy, but that was a that was a thing. That was hard. <laughs> that fucking fight. That fight was so freaking tense. I swear to God. I am. Um, do believe I was not speaking too much here at the end. Oh boy. Very warm in here. <sighs> but that was really cool. That boss fight was awesome. It was hard. It was unforgiving. But it was cool. It was a good f boss fight. Oh boy. Fuck you, Warlord. So we finally beat Whitefall. I... This was fun. This was a good good time. Canadian Media Fund. I am not even gonna pronounce that in French. Whitefall and little Nux. Oh, that's lovely. Even though I fucked around with some of the story and the, the, the lore, one don't realize that Nux was... The shadow tricks that I was spoken of, so that kind of sucks. But anyway, holy shit, that was that was that was a that was a thing, that was a trick, that was a good journey, really great. Oh, good old little Nux, cute little boy. Holy fuck, this was this was the adventure. Yeah. You know, I think we're just gonna leave it at that. Oh, that was great. So thank you guys very much for watching this. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up in the section down below. And until next video, take care of yourself and each other.